Happy November. I cannot believe next month is already Christmas. This year has gone by so fast, but then also so slow. I don't know how I managed to do that, but here we are. Next month is Christmas, and this video is gonna be all about this month's current favorites. I will say, during this time of year, my mind really shifts. So not only am I sharing things that I have fallen in love with this month or love this month, almost everything I would say would be a really, really good gift idea. I do have some coupon codes for a few of the things that I'm sharing. As always, everything will be linked down below. So make sure to check out the info box if you wanna shop any of these items. I've got a little bit of everything for you guys. I'm super excited, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got a few different home things that I wanna share with you, so I'm gonna start with those first, and then we will go into beauty and fashion. First up, I just have to mention my new water bottle. If you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about this. I will say it is selling out really, really fast. They did restock a few colors and a few different sizes. This is the largest size. When you buy it, it comes with two different lids. It comes with this lid that does have like an airtight straw hole. And then it also comes with the flip lid. I've just been using this one, but I do like both lids. But this cup is so good. It comes in a ton of different colors. I want to get the marble one as well. It does a really good job of keeping your drink cold. And when it comes to water bottles, I can be pretty piggy. I do have my favorite. This has been my go-to every single day for the last like couple of weeks. I love it. I also just have to mention this candle. This is my all time all-time favorite candles. I have two all-time favorite candles. This is number one. Number two is the Gardenia one that I talk about all the time here on my channel as well. This one, unfortunately, only comes out in the holiday season. So I stock up every single season, like holiday season, and I burn it year round. So it is considered a holiday scent. The scent is seriously amazing. It has a little bit of everything when you think about the holidays. It's got pine, it's got cinnamon, it's got cit like orange, citrus, it's got a touch of vanilla, and then also has a few other notes. I just think it smells so amazing and it makes your home smell like home, like homey. I just, I love it so, so much. The next home favorite that I have to mention is this cute little crock pot. So I actually ordered this originally <laughs> for my crock pot potpourri, which I have been using it for that and loving it. It's a really good size. If you are looking for something that can create meals for one or two, this is such a better size. If that's not your thing, it's also really good for parties. So it's the perfect size to make like queso or dips in this and keep it warm if you're making like spinach dip, artichoke dip, or like I said, queso. It's literally the perfect size for that. So not only can you use it for crock pot potpourri, it's good for meals or one or two, or like I said, you can do it for dips at parties. If you follow me on Instagram, it will not be a surprise that I bring up this body cream. So my favorite all-time body cream before I purchased this one was the La Mer, but I had like a love-hate relationship with that one because as much as I loved the formula and I really, really just enjoyed the product, I just couldn't see myself spending, what, 300 bucks for a jar of body cream every time I needed to buy a body cream. That just, to me, I'm all about the luxe. I'm all about splurging on things that you love, and that's a great product. It's not that I won't ever buy that product again. It just felt ridiculous to buy that every single time. So I continued looking for other options, and I finally finally found it you guys this one is 45 dollars, so it's still pricey in the terms of a body cream it is worth every single penny and i actually like it just as much as the la mer one as far as the actual product the consistency the creaminess the hydration it is on par with the la mer the only way that they differ in my opinion is the scent you can't really beat la mer scent let's just be honest if you ever if you've ever smelled like the la mer signature scent it's just intoxicating. It's so spa and fresh and clean and elegant. This one is a little bit more perfumey. It's light, it's not heavy, but that is the only like area in my opinion that they differ. As far as the quality of the product, the creaminess, the hydration, like I said, it is the best. It is amazing. It is just as good as La Mer, but I do really like the smell. It's just, again, it's a perfume smell versus a spa smell, so you really can't compare the two. If you've been looking for a good, luxurious body cream, this is it. I love it so much that I ordered the first jar. I tried it for a couple of days. Fell in love. I ended up stocking up on four more jars. I kept one in my bathroom, one in my nightstand, one upstairs in my like filming space because I do get ready up there sometimes, and then one for a backup. And then I also bought the lotion version of this to keep in my car. That's how good it is, you guys. I'm not even kidding. You have got to try this body cream and this would make a really, really nice gift. Next up, I just had to mention this Elements cleanser that I fell back in love with this month. I actually ran out of this one 
a few months ago and I hadn't bought any because I just have other cleansers to use and I decided to buy this jumbo version because it came in stock. This is not a typical size for them, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of this larger size and buy it and it is so gentle on my skin. It doesn't strip my skin. My skin doesn't feel tight or dry afterwards. I love that it has a pump. The formula is really amazing. If you are on the sensitive like combo dryer side and you worry about cleansers that are just too stripping and just kind of pull everything out or you tend to get dry or tight after cleansing your face, you've got to try this cleanser. It's really good. It is definitely on the pricier side, but this like jumbo size is a really, really good buy. Next up, I just wanted to share the new sunscreen that I'm wearing. This is the Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 45. It is water resistant and I am really, really enjoying this. This one also comes with a pump, which is also really nice. I will say the tinted part of it doesn't really leave any coverage. I find that it just shears out and my skin just looks like normal, but the actual sunscreen part, I really like. It layers really nicely underneath my foundation or even on days that I don't wear any makeup. I'm wearing it today underneath my foundation. It also happens to have all of the ingredients that you need to protect yourself from UVA as well as UV UVB. So this is a really good sunscreen. I highly, highly recommend it. Speaking of anti-aging, I wanted to go ahead and share this retinol night cream that I have been using. If you are looking to add a retinol to your skincare and one, you don't want to go to the, you know, go to the dermatologist and get a prescription. You don't want to go through that or you are very sensitive and you've tried a tretinoid and your skin just does not like it and you can't seem to adjust to it. This is a really, really good introduction to get that type of product in your skincare, that anti-aging that honestly, once you hit 25, you should have a retinol tretinoid or something in your skincare. This is a really good one. This is one of my favorite brands when it comes to skincare. They have amazing products. I use a couple of their serums, but again, this is a really good way to introduce retinol and not worry about that drying, peeling, redness. It's just a very gentle way to do it. There are steps. This is the second step. So you can start with the lower one or use that until the tube is out. Go to the next one, use that till the tube is out or even use one or two tubes of that one and then go to the final one, which is I believe one and this is 0.5. So I really recommend this if you haven't added a retinol to your, your, um, you know, your skincare routine. I only use this at night. I do also just have to mention a few of my favorite boots for fall and winter. I love boot season. I do have a coupon code for all of the boots that I'm going to share with you guys. So make sure to check that out down below. I'll also pop it on the screen. I cannot remember what it is, but whether you're shopping for yourself or you're shopping for a friend, make sure to use that code and save a little bit of money. First up are these, these are the soft Belize booties. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a soft partner. They send me shoes every single season to share with you guys, as well as give you guys a coupon code. These are probably one of my favorite boots that they have ever released for the fall and winter seasons. They are just a classic classic fall winter boot. I love the colors that they come in. They're super, super comfortable. If you're not familiar with soft, they seriously make the most comfortable shoes, whether it's a summer shoe, sandal, sneaker, or a boot, their shoes are seriously so, so comfortable. When it comes to boots, I do go up half a size. That's just my preference. I like to wear really thick socks in the fall and winter with my boots and booties. So I do go up half a size. I'd probably recommend you do the same as well. This particular boot also happens to be part of their aqua soft line which means they are waterproof so if you live in a wet climate keep that in mind these are going to be a really really good choice for you the next boot that i want to share with y'all is the soft landy i love these boots i think they are so unique it is like a sweater on your foot they're super super lightweight so if you've wanted the look of a hiking boot but you don't want that weight of a hiking boot these are perfect for you again i did go up half a size in these so i got them in a seven i love wearing my cozy thick socks with them super super comfortable and just a great fall and winter boot. I love the detail and again, super, super comfortable. Next up is another slip-on boot option. These are the Soft Lea, again, a part of the Aqua Soft line. So perfect for a wet climate. Love the color of these. They're gonna go with everything. Just like the first pair that I shared with you, these are a great closet basic when it comes to fall and winter. You will reach for these every single year, especially because the fact that they are waterproof, they're just gonna be a really nice, high quality, comfortable boot that you can reach for. 
if suede is not your thing they do have waterproof leathers as well but i just tend to gravitate towards suede that's just my preference especially in the fall and winter i just think it's there's something so luxurious about it again i went up half a size in these and they fit perfect and last but not least for the boots that i wanted to share with y'all is the soft samantha if you're looking for a casual knee-high boot like a riding style boot this is perfect they are italian leather or suede i went with the cognac color i love the back zipper it just to me it looks so clean whenever you're putting it on it makes it really really easy to get on and off as well i did go up half a size in these two so these are a seven like i said i typically just go up half a size in all of my winter boots whether it's a boot or a booty because i want to be able to wear super thick and cozy socks with them talk about a closet basic when it comes to fall and winter a right boot is definitely a closet basic these come in three different colors i believe and again i have that coupon code for you guys to save a little bit of money i'll pop it on the screen one more time for y'all i love the details of this writing boot but again it's really really simple and classic talk about a boot that you're going to be able to pull out year after year and not have to worry about being on trend they're just classic timeless and of course they're, they're soft so they're super super comfortable i'll make sure to link all four boots down below in the info box for you guys as well as the coupon code make sure to go check them out soft really is one of my favorite brands to work with as well as purchase on my own their shoes are so so comfortable i also just really quickly have to mention the sweater that i'm wearing it is probably my favorite sweater of the entire season it has this mock like layered turtleneck it's so cozy so comfortable and it is on the longer side so it's perfect for leggings or of course you can do the front tuck but it's so cozy it does come in a few different colors and i found it 50 percent off so i'll link this down below for you guys as well so next up i wanted to go ahead and share a pair of sunglasses with you guys but i have them in three different color combos and i wanted to go ahead and show all three of them really quick with you so i've talked about these sunglasses before here they've been a favorite for quite a while but i ended up ordering two more colors and then a repeat of my favorite so this is the pair that i bought a while back and i've shared they've been a part of multiple favorites videos i love these they're 14 dollars, you guys they're such a great buy i really love wearing them they're just such a cute pair of sunglasses these are the tortoise with a brown gradient lens as you can see but i ended up ordering this pair which is a slightly different tortoise it's a little bit darker tortoise and then the lens is a solid brown it's not gradient so i think this pair is really really good for fall just because it's a little bit darker the colors are just a little bit darker a little bit richer but then i also ordered the two-tone version which has the black on top the tortoise on the bottom on the frame and then it's got a like black gradient lens i just wanted to share all three with you so you could see the different color options just wanted to try them all for you just here so you could see these are a really great pair of sunglasses and would make a really good gift especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money and the last item that i wanted to share with y'all is my bag of the month the bag that i used the most this month an oldie goodie all-time favorite was my pochette Matisse. I love this bag. I've had this bag for years. How long have I had this bag? Maybe four years. I think I've had it for a really, really long time. You can see mine is already definitely patinaed. I reached for it a ton this month. It has a lot of love in it. I do, I do still get questions about this bag and if it's worth it, I highly recommend it. If you are newer to my channel i did have to send mine in about a year after buying it to have the glazing redone so all of the glazing was redone and i will say i haven't really inspected it in a long time and mine looks fine it does look a lot thicker than it originally looked but i haven't had any issues with it even with that said and even with the initial issue that i had after buying it you know the, a year or so later i still recommend this bag it is still one of those bags that i reach for on a regular basis and i definitely reached for it a lot this month so that is this month's favorites you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope each and every one of you is doing well out there as always everything will be linked down below if you're new to my channel my name is amanda it is really nice to meet you i hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button before you head out make sure to check out one of these and i'll see y'all in the next one talk to you soon bye bye